Hey Luke, I've got a game to share with you today. Yeah, what do you got? This one is called Boom Slingers. Okay. This is a free game that is available in the Play Store. Mm hmm And it is a fun, pretty high replay value kind of game. Nice. That uh, I have yet to see an add on. Really? Yeah. So free that's free with none ads. So far. All right, that's cool. I don't uh, know if it's because I haven't quite progressed far enough into the okay. game, but uh, tell me more. So the game is called Boom Slingers. Mm -hmm. The developer is Boom Core, and it is a free game you can find in the Play Store that uh, has it attracted me with its colorful, bright kind of graphics. Yeah, the uh, characters look to be pretty playful, and it just had like a instant appeal to me sure so I went in yeah and uh, sat on my phone for a couple of days and then when I got around to playing it it, it was very easy to pick up mm -hmm. to learn and uh, the kind of game that I played for a while before I wanted to put it down yeah premise is this you are in charge of uh, a team of characters that you start out with like just some basic square kind of guys and they don't really have any special attributes. They're mm -hmm. just characters. So you will uh, level up yourself by uh, winning different challenges. You Your characters show up on a map, and it's like a PvP game. So yeah. it's you log in and play when you're ready, and it's just against a random opponent. And it might put two of your characters, might put three of your characters on there. Mm -hmm. And all you do is on each turn, <clears throat> you're given so much mana, which are basically points to kind of draw from. And then you uh, look at these, you, you're basically, you build a deck of cards. Uh -huh. And you decide which card I want to play. It's my turn, and this is the guy that's highlighted. I'm going to pick this card, and it's going to, you know, I can pull back kind of like on a, a slingshot kind of thing, uh -huh. let it go, and it might be like a fireball. So you can kind of see the trajectory of, you know, where it's going to go. The object is to knock out your opponent. Okay. So it's the last man standing kind of thing. Nice. It's a simple, easy to understand premise. And it's the kind of game that after you play it for a while, you realize um, you can unlock different characters, like kind of like avatar looking things. Mm -hmm. Some of them are pretty cool. Uh, I've seen them from other players as I've challenged them or get put into a game with them. The cards themselves, you can unlock and kind of power up those cards to make them stronger. Oh, okay. So you uh, go into each game with a deck of cards, like mm -hmm. eight cards, and it randomly just gives you what, you know, deals out four of them at a time, and you say, you know, this one's worth two points, this one's three, three, one, and you pick on your turn how many of those points that you want to use based off of how much mana is available. Gotcha. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's seven, so you might be able to do like two or three moves. Yeah. Some of them are defensive, like maybe you want to hop out of the way or up to a different spot on the map. Okay. So it's kind of a strategy game. I really like it uh, in the sense that games are quick. Yeah. You get in there and you play somebody and it might only take you, you know, four or five minutes to play. Nice. I haven't seen any ads, but I get the sense that the game wants me to maybe fast track my way to progress my, you know, to okay. level myself up. Okay. The game is balanced. Yeah. And when I do play other people, it does match me up with people that are, you know, the same level as me. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like the game, the mechanics of what's available and these things are like gems and coins and you start to get into the in-game currency and you have certain things you can lock unlock every so many hours or days gotcha you can pay to kind of open them up quicker yeah and you kind of get this uh invisible push yeah or pool to kind of hey I, i've got enough gems to unlock this i should just do it now right so i don't hate them for that because yeah. I, I haven't had anything where the game is like this is ready to open come back and play this mm -hmm. or would you like to challenge somebody or haven't seen you in a while. Like, none of that stuff is okay. happening. So I do appreciate that. Yeah. Um, every level is completely different. Uh-huh. Uh, you very rarely see the same kind of layout. Nice. So sometimes you start a game, you're the first person to go. Sometimes the other person goes. 
alternates between your characters, and you just kind of figure out which which combination of cards am I going to play. Now, do you see, it, it, is the game a portrait or a landscape kind of game? You turn your phone sideways, so okay. it is a landscape game. Okay. Fills up this full screen. Can and you see both teams on mm -hmm. the screen, or you don't have to, like, scroll left and right? Or No, now okay. you can pinch and zoom to uh -huh. kind of, like, see. A little bit better. Yeah, if you're looking for, like, a strategy of, like, oh, do I want to move up here? Mm -hmm. Um so the object, it's it's pretty simple. Like, I want to knock the other characters off the map right. down to the bottom or hit them with enough that they lose all their energy. Okay. It's a uh, it's a cute game. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, e, like, these emoji kind of things that will pop up to kind of display if you're happy or upset, it, you know, so, on the screen if something happens to your guy. So you're, are you fighting people in real time then? It feels you like are. you're actually fighting real people. Yep. Nice. Yeah. That's and cool. And it matches you up. So I'm, I'm level two still. I'm almost level three. Okay. You have to get so many points to progress. Mm -hmm. um, but you can continue to kind of, like, build up your deck. Yeah. So your your attack that might just be like you lob this fireball has more power and takes it out. You know, gotcha. if you're doesn't change the accuracy, but it just makes it stronger. Okay. Uh, some of them might be like a laser. You actually pull back and it just shoots a straight laser through the guy. Mm. One might be like a really big bullet that goes through and knocks out him and anything that he might be standing on or like uh, around him. Okay. So the environment, you know, these blocks that you stand on, uh, they do break. So if, okay. it, if a bomb hits and blows up, that piece might fall, and you fall down, okay. and you're out. Um, what I've noticed now is, like, in the game, for me, it's starting to give me levels where the ground is coming up. As the match as, goes on. As the, okay. After every so many rounds so or back like and forth. a timer on it. Yeah, it kind of gives you, like, this, I went, he went, and then uh, the, ex the way it actually is is, there's uh, part of the graphics of the background is like this giant milk carton. Uh huh. So then every so often you see it pour, and then like the level of the milk rises. So on your turn, you got to pick: do I want to attack or do I want to jump up somewhere? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's there's strategy. Uh, sometimes you know you might want to jump, and I've learned you know I've seen other people do this, and I realize that you can actually grab two cards at once. So you might jump. So when you play it, your guy goes up, and then you tap the screen. And then you can pull back and shoot your laser. Oh, wow. So if my laser normally wouldn't quite hit him because of the way the blocks are. You might be able to jump and shoot at the same and time. And shoot down. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of strategy in there. Uh -huh. It's not the kind of game that's going to, um, you know, you're not going to wring your hands over it trying to figure things out. Right. It moves pretty quickly. Uh, when it's your turn, the clock will basically count down. So if you're trying to think through uh, your next move, I've got four mana left. Do I want to try... You can just end your turn. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't make it in time, it'll just say time's up and it moves on to the next guy. Now, if you end with extra mana left, does that bank until the next turn? I don't know how that works because I, I want to say it does. Okay, cool. Because there are certain times where I'm like, wow, I've got seven, eight, you know. Yeah. So I'm able to do two, three moves at a time. Sure. So there may be a time where you can't do anything mm -hmm. because of the way the guy might be on a platform directly above you. So you might just have to wait. Until yeah, you have enough mana to actually go up and do something. Yeah. Okay. So, it's a fun game. I yeah. gave it a, a 3.7. Yeah, that's uh, good. So, yeah, it gave it fours in a couple of areas. Where mm -hmm. I did give it uh, a three, audio was just above average. Okay. Graphics are cool. Uh, replay value is 3.5 for me. It I do want to go back and play it. I do want to play it. But after a certain point, I'm just kind of like, all right, I'm just going to wait till this timer is done on this capsule see what I unlock card-wise and coins, and then I'll come back tomorrow and play. Yeah. Um, but I've found myself, you know, 20, 30, 40-minute stretches of just kind of, like, playing while I'm, you know, sitting in the room with my wife. Yeah. We're just kind of got a game on or something happening. So yeah. I just kind of half there, half watching the game. So nice. uh, it is a fun, casual game. I feel like... Uh, I have seen a couple of instances where the network connectivity, if the other player disconnects, yeah, you automatically win. Okay. So you get like 20 points. Yeah. And if you lose a match, you lose five. Okay. So you're kind of building your way up. Yeah. Uh, last night, for instance, I had three matches out of four where the other player disconnected. Mm. So I don't know if that's actually the case. Yeah. I feel like that might be a server 
or some kind of setting where maybe they're not stable. Sure. Because I can't imagine three out of four opponents disconnecting from me. Right. I'm not kicking their butts or doing anything. Right. You know, I just feel like, is it am I? Is in my connection. Sure. But it says you win, dis- yeah. you know, disconnected. So Interesting. I'm, uh, yeah, I'll probably stick around with this one, play for a little bit more, and uh-huh. see what happens if I continue to power up some of my cards and move into, like, level three and see what that does for me. Yeah. It has my interest. Uh, it's not the kind of game where I feel like I have to open it up, tick a couple of boxes to get it done for the day, and then right. get back into it. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in. Yeah, and, you know it's not quite an editor's choice game for me yet, but uh-huh. I would you know maybe reserve a spot to come back later and say I love it now. Sweet, you know, but I'm I'm in like with it. All right, cool. So that's Boom Slingers. Yep, and that's available in the Play Store. Yep, for free. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything. Shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G A U L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.